Hi, welcome to Chawra English Medium School, Shada. This is Pratibha Patil, and today I am going to tell you an interesting story through our Sixth Standard English topic: the worth of fabrics. There are number of the same poet in the history of our country. They gave a good values to the society. So today, through this story, we are going to learn about a great saint Tiru Valluar. He was a great Tamil saint poet who lived in the two thousand years ago. His book. Tirupullar is very famous about his teaching. People love and respect it even today. Tiruvalluvar was a textile weaver. He owns a beautiful fabrics and sarees and sold them in the market. People said about him, he never got angry, never used bad words, never raised his voice. In the same town, there lived a rich young man who always made the fun of others. One day, he tried to make angry to the Tiruvalluvar. This rich young man went to the Valluvar shop in the market and picked up a beautiful fabric and asked the price of fabric. Tiruvalluvar very politely answered eight point the price of the fabric. Then the young man tore that cloth into the two pieces and asked the price of that cloth. Then the valuer, instead of getting angry, he very calmly and politely answered that four point. Then, in the same way, the rich young man again and again make half piece every time of that cloth and ask the price to the valuer. Every time, the valuer very calmly reducing the price without getting angry. At last, the cloth turn into the rags. Then, valuer told that time now he can't able to price that cloth because it is worthless. No one is able to wear it. At the same time, the rich young man have the proud about his riches, so he tried to give him the price of that fabric eight coins. The valuer very. Nicely, he smiled and refused to take that money. And he told him, "This fabric is useless now. No one can wear it." And at the same time, he explained him about the process. Of This the fabric is not made in one day. Many people work hard behind it. The farmer. Who grew cotton in his field work hard for months through the sun and the rain. He picked cotton from each ball and give it for spinning. Then someone else cut it, the cotton and spun it into long uniform threads. The threads were dyed carefully so that they took. On these lovely colors, then Tiruvalluvar and his wife, by taking these threads, putting together a beautiful designs, and preparing a beautiful fabrics. And when somebody will wear this fabric, then their work would have been rewarded. When you destroy the fabric. You destroyed all the love and labor went into it. Money cannot bring it back. The softly words 
touched to the rich young man's heart and he felt ashamed about himself. At the same time, Valuer said him that I, he can own another fabric like that, but our life also is like the fabric. If once it's destroyed by your hurried and hasty and thoughtless actions, it will be never come back. Dear Valuer sobbed and the good words opened the young man's eyes and he decided to leave his all the laziness and the bad habits. So, today through this story we learnt about the great saint Tiruvalluvar, his good teaching, the process of the fabric and how he gave the good lesson to the rich young man. I hope you enjoyed the story.